Get the Heavenly Realm Healing MB3 at jasongallant.ca. As human beings, we are trained to look, to constantly be looking for something. You know, and all this looking has to do with survival. It's look here, look there, search for this, search for that. Look for the answers to this, look for the answers to that. But the spiritual journey is acting in the opposite paradigm. Once you stop looking, that is the only time you are free to see. Because looking is an active thing, it's, it's you're doing something, you see? But when you receive, when you are just here, not looking for anything, you're not looking for what you expect to see, that's when you truly see. That's really what a lot of the sages were talking about when they said, you know, become free of your desires and become free of your fears, because fear is the same thing as desires, just maybe moving in another direction, but it's the same thing. It's saying you want something specific, you're looking for something specific. People that are hell-bent on looking will go to the greatest of sages and say, what's the big deal? They'll sit there in the back row of some satsang or group meditation and see this person in robes at the front of the room and say, I don't get it. What's the big deal? You see, because they're looking through the eyes of expectation when you look, this is what the deal is. When you are looking, you are looking through the eyes of expectation. You are looking for something specific and you're so fixated on finding something specific that you are not receiving what is really happening. You are not seeing. At that point, you fit into the saying of pearls before swine, right? Don't put pearls before swine because the swine won't see anything. They're just looking for mushrooms or whatever it is that swine look for. <laughs> so if you want to see miracles, stop looking. Stop looking for something specific. Work on being, no looking. Don't worry about experiencing something the way you heard somebody else experience it or just let it all go. And when you let it all go, then the universe will show up as your perfect mate. The universe will show up to you in the perfect way for you. And this experience may be different than someone else because you are sitting in a different point of view, you see? You, you're, this physical body that you're sitting in is a different perspective than someone else's. There's no right or wrong, there is only are you seeing? Are you receptive enough to see in this moment? Receiving is true seeing. You could call it receiving. Receiving and re-seeing. So that's why I speak so much about receptivity. It's really the feminine path, but only through being, without looking, without doing, without trying to manipulate, searching for what you want to see, will something come to you. That's why it's important for me as a teacher not to say to you what you will see or what you will experience as you go through your shifts, because I want you to receive what is special for you in this moment. And if I train you into saying, oh, look for this, look for that, then you will get fixated in looking and that will prevent you from seeing. That will prevent you from experiencing. Don't even look at me as you perceive me to be. Don't look at me with any sort of expectation or preconceived notion. Just receive. and see what happens.
This is true seeing. Receive everything as it is without a preconceived notion and it will evolve before you. Your sense of reality will become much different than you think it to be. What you know to be true will fall away and truth itself will reveal itself as it is in any moment. And yes, it will shift. Your perception of it will shift. this helps. Take care for now.